Hey what's up you guys, it's Danny, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the life of a Bobarista, a bubble tea cafe manager, um, marketing and operations specialist, research and development, yes all of the above. I do so many things for this bubble tea company that I work for, I literally live breathe, sleep, and eat boba all day, every day. It quite literally pays my bills. I get to do so many different fun and exciting and random things with my position, and today's video is mostly just gonna be focusing on what a typical admin day looks like for me as a senior manager, you know, just making sure the stores keep running. Um, so yeah, let's just get started with the video. So on a typical day, I do like to wear a teensy bit of makeup, even if I am mostly working from home. It just helps me look and feel better about myself. Because I am starting some of my mornings off at like 7.30 in the morning, I make sure that I make myself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea like first thing in the morning. One of the first things that I also do is make sure to grab the heater. I do live in Washington and it gets really cold. Some days the heater is in the sunroom because I like to work out there, you know, just do my little admin thing. Um, but most days I just take the heater with me and I sit at a desk and do my work over there. This whole work from home thing can still be pretty challenging some days, even though I, like so many other people, have been doing this for over a year now. I just find I'm more productive at home, but it's hard working in food service to not be in the cafe all the time. Also, here's Bo. I live with him. He's my boyfriend. You know, either way, I have to make do, and yeah, it's just kind of what I have to work with right now is working from home some days, working in the cafe other days. Right around noon is when I will try to eat something so that I'm not just running on caffeine and coffee. And this day it was pad thai, um, leftover pad thai. And here I am just printing some documents that I need to work on. Um, and our printer just so happens to be in the command center, aka my boyfriend's collectibles room. Um, and here I am working on said documents. Also, shout out to these little to-do list sticky notes. They totally help me stay on track. Also, I do very much keep a, a travel size version of Dove deodorant in my pencil case. Some days I could have meetings from 10 a.m. until like 6.30 p.m. just back to back to back, but not today. Today I printed out these cute little boba stickers and cute eyelash stickers to give to my team. I'll show you guys what I do with that later, but I'm just packing up right now and then I'm going to head to the cafe. I have this super duper cute work bag that is bubble tea themed. Actually, I have a few work bags. I just, you know, like to keep a lot of stuff on me. I always like to be prepared. Um, but here I am just packing everything up and I, of course, need to grab a mask, but oops, the mask fell perfectly. That's the one I wanted anyways. Um, yeah, just gonna head out the door now. Sometimes Bo will ask me to take some packages with me and drop them off at the post office on my way to work since it's on my way anyways. And I live really close to where I work and um, it's like an eight minute drive or like four minutes on a good day. Here I am at this gorgeous cafe and I'm just gonna make my way inside and get to work on some more fun projects. This day I wanted to make some little thank you cards for all of my employees. Um, I was filming this right around, uh, was it Christmas? Was it Thanksgiving? I don't know, sometime around the holidays. And I just took those stickers that I made for them and I put a little personalized note for each of them around it and I'm gonna put it in their lockers. I'm literally always trying to do something random for them um, just to show them that I appreciate them a lot, mostly because I am always up to something super random in the store and they're always really helpful. Like for example, here I am patching up a hole in the wall from where we tore down our old venue and after I do this, I asked one of my employees to paint the wall, no questions asked, and they totally did it for me and it looked awesome. Um, another project that I was working on around this time was I was painting a mural in our store. This is also something that my employees helped me out with and you know, here's some clips from the work in progress part of it. This whole project took a few days, like on top of painting the actual chalk part of the wall or the chalkboard part of the wall, I had to draft what it would look like. The white wall you see off to the right is just a draft of what the mural will look like. Um, you know, here I am painting part of it and honestly, the rest of it, the bigger part of the wall, my employees painted for me. And then we did a chalk wash on it and then together <laughs> we painted the chalk mural. Seriously cannot begin to tell you guys how lucky I am as a manager to have the kind of team that I do here at Braganza Tea Bar. They are so amazing, so helpful. About a year and a half ago, I got hired to do pretty much just marketing and operations for the company, and here I am quite some time later being a whole ass senior store manager, doing fun stuff like developing our mobile app and taking on some of the most amazing projects. 
speaking of projects, here is the final product. I wanted to make sure you guys got to see it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. That was a day in my professional life. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have an Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Odin Danny with two eyes and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Mwah.